And the man who police say had a gun while hanging outside JCPS school headquarters, the Van Hoos Education Center, faced a judge this morning. Jason Smiley referred to himself as a disgruntled employee and was seen on Facebook making comments like make them pay before he was arrested. The 19's Heather Fountaine is investigating his trouble with JCPS and his criminal record. Booked behind bars with a $100,000 bond. Police say Jason Smiley was parked outside JCPS administrative offices with a gun this week. Now he's standing in front of a judge, the school district employee. Protest time, protesting them. Hosting a Facebook Live from inside his car for over an hour. Do you know what being disgruntled means, right? Well, <laughs> yeah, I'm almost beyond disgruntled. The police report says there was a disagreement over filing paperwork at Van Hoos. Then a staffer says she saw him standing in the parking lot with the gun on his hip. I'm about to make them hate me. I'm about to really, really make them hate me. We see police show up on the Facebook Live, warning him once. Time to protest, and I'm going to keep on protesting. And minutes later, putting him in handcuffs. Smiley was arrested for having a weapon on school property. I'm just going to not, well, I'm not going to stop because y'all have done me wrong. Smiley was assigned to Fraser Elementary School as an AmeriCorps volunteer. His personnel file shows he was suspended three days prior to his arrest for using vulgar language while talking to a student. But Documents show he refused to sign the suspension paperwork and tore it up. There were also behavior issues reported in August, October, and December of 2019, including an incident where he's accused of teasing and harassing a third grader over a fundraiser. Criminal history shows that you do have prior convictions for certain things, but, but things that are like this. we also looked into his criminal history and found an arrest from 2008 for throwing a brick through someone's window and again in 2010 for criminal trespassing. Heather Fountaine, WHIS 11 News.